is Alex C, your beer guide, and I want to thank you very much for subscribing to Deary School and following my video tutorials. Tonight I'm going to show you how to set up Deary Studio lighting by using three lights and HDRI dome light, which is going to give you that little extra photorealistic effect to your models. Now this setup can be used also for interiors and exteriors as long as you follow the balancing methods and the combination of cold and warm colors. So my example is going to be based on the studio lighting but you can guys use it in any other approach for lighting up your scenes. So first I'm gonna create my uh, studio which gonna have soft edges and I'm gonna use spline left view and from left view I'm going to activate my snapping tools right click uh, grid points here so I'm gonna snap to the grid and I'm gonna drag it to something like this all right now here I need to add filet also don't forget to give names let's call it stage and now let's go to vertices select these vertices and give them fillet all right so we're gonna soften them a little bit and here i want to pull it up so my camera will not be blocked by that bouncing area here and I'm gonna add extrude to this from the side view all right so something like this and let's assign some cool materials I'm gonna give the stage something very uh, a little bit reflective but a little blurry here you can see 0.87 so I don't want to reflect too much and to my boot I'm gonna give this gold metal and um, let's put up some lighting here I'm gonna add Viri lights on the side here and I'm going to drag one here and drag another one here and I'm gonna copy because those lights are going to be different so one I'm gonna do bluish with about 10 uh, multiplier intensity 10 and this one probably 4 and kind of yellowish so blue is gonna be a little bit stronger but the yellow is going to have a little bit more color to it and now we actually need to put a camera so let's go to cameras select V-Ray physical camera and let's place it here looking at the Buddha so you probably noticed that my settings are by default for that is 300 the ISO F number is 4 and the shadow speed is 80 I also like to have depth of field in order to get nice and realistic effect and I also activate vignetting here and we're gonna play a little bit with this amount in order to um, in order to make it more photographic uh, render so I'm gonna click C and position my camera here F3 uh, make sure you activate your safe frames on the side so you actually know what you are rendering now I can launch my IPR right here you can see the render already executing all right so I'm gonna close all of those things all of those tests that I did earlier and now what I want to do is I actually want to add another light so I'm gonna go to left gonna duplicate this light and I'm going to position that towards that bouncing board like that 
and probably I'm gonna give it less let's give two and a white color because this is just going to be a bouncing light okay something like this let's go back to camera and we'll hit refresh our render here and we're getting nice feeling light and um, the only thing with those lights is that you have their kind of reflections here and I don't like to have those because it doesn't really add realistic effect I mean you can have them I actually like to close them so let's let me select light and let's make it not reflective so you can see we kind of lost our um, reflections here and I think I need a little bit more bouncing like on the foreground so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to left and I'm going to increase also hide this I'm going to increase the five now let's go back to camera we can see we're getting a little bit more feeling light on the front but uh, we're kind of losing the whole um, realistic aspect of that rendering kind of have we need to have more reflections a more craftier look kind of the whole ambience kind of need to go a little bit up so what we're gonna do about this I'm gonna go and add V-Ray Dome Light And here we're gonna select dome, paste it here, and you can see already the whole scene starts to fill up with this nice uh, feeling color. Let me move a little bit further with the camera. By the way, we can do it also from this uh, real zoom view with uh, with the new V-Ray. Next, get the chance. To work with it now here in this ambient light if we can change color we can really control nice ambience appearance here okay but what I like actually to do is to put an HDRI map and uh, there is a free HDRI that comes with this uh, tutorial with this scene so you can load it up and try it try it out it's an interior HDRI so let's load it here I'm gonna drag it to the instance it's gotta be on spherical mode uh, it's also let's increase the overall multiplier because I want to throw a little bit more light and the reflections are not great so let's rotate it a little bit let's get something like this so we get hot spot on the left side and we get a nice hot spot on the right side and you can see how nicely those details here starts to pop out all right that's a pretty cool effect okay so when i'm done adjusting and getting my render here uh, set up and balancing the light I'm gonna stop it go to my rendering settings and here I'm gonna use uh, buckets bucket mode 1 and 10 pretty low noise threshold this all stays by default and I'm gonna click render and render my final image alright so the render was done as you can see here the quality is looking pretty good and it looks pretty realistic now I just want to add final note I'm using here a calibration of V-Ray frame buffer so I do use exposure I do a little bit hue saturation a little color balance in order to give it a little bit greenish uh, kind of look 
and I'm also doing some curves in order to pop up a little bit the highlights so basically if you do render and follow my steps exactly that's the render that you're gonna get and then you need to color correct it in Photoshop but if you guys wanna do it right away inside V-Ray you can do that with the help of V-Ray frame buffer right so download the scene below enjoy your holidays wish you best in the upcoming year this is Alex your V-Ray guy thanks a lot for following ciao